Life is worth living again. Hi guys! So, I'm back, obviously. Last video, the 10 struggles of being a girl really wore me out. Like, edit it and then the angles, like, it was just, it was a rough time. If you guys see my vlog channel, if you haven't, it's OMG, it's Dominique. Subscribe to that. But I've been doing fame. And in this video, I'm doing a Q and A. I asked you guys to ask me questions, and you did. Surprisingly, I didn't think anybody would ask me. But you guys did, so I didn't get that many. But first question is, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If I could change one thing, it would be the way I am. So, like, people could do me the worst. People could do me bogus grudge, or I can't, like, be like, okay, bye. The thing I hate, because you could over and over and over and over, and I'll still forgive you somehow, and I can't can't just like be like <laughs> my sister's calling me okay bye <laughs> I'll be right back if I could change one thing about myself it would be not as forgiving and I know some people would be like well it's good to forgive yeah but like to a point next question I'm all out of breath <laughs> how do you cope with a difficult time Personally, sometimes I don't cope with it. I just kind of like let it be. It isn't a good thing But I do also talk to people that I trust and tell them like what's going on in my life and what's I'm struggling with So they can help me or they could just listen because sometimes just being heard is just like the best thing I don't know third question is if you were in the middle of an ocean and could bring one item, what would it be and why? If I was in the middle of an ocean, first of all, I wouldn't be in the middle of an ocean. I don't know if this person meant like in the middle of an ocean, like just the plain waters. Then I'd want like a freaking boat or something, a life raft or some type of thing. But if I was on an island in the middle of an ocean, which I'm sure that's what that person meant, probably food. That would be nice. Maybe a machete or something. Something to like, because if you guys ever seen like Naked and Afraid, you know like it'd be rough. So I probably want a machete in there to kill animals and what. Yeah, machete. Fourth question is a little rough, mm -hmm. but you're asking me for, I think, a reason. So I'm going to answer it. So the fourth question is, how do you begin to help yourself on the road to recovery? Sometimes I can and sometimes, and many times I relapse. What is the first step to being confident with your self-harm scars? I don't know if that's all one question. That's not all one, but like that person wrote it in one. Let's start from the beginning. How do you begin to help yourself? Um, you begin to help yourself when you realize you need help. It's hard for people to realize like, dang, I do need help. Like I did and I was like, okay, Dominique, you need to get your life. Realizing it, that you need help and being okay with it because it's okay to ask for help, you know? So that's step one. And then just going to someone you trust to tell them like, this is what's going on. I need help. Sometimes I can and many times. I relapse. Um, I'm assuming they mean self-harm because I can't see it as like the other way. If you relapse, it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself because it happens. Don't bum yourself up about something that like happened. It is what it is. You did it and it's okay. So as I was editing this, I started to kind of realize that it sounded like I was saying like if you self-harm like it's okay. Say I was trying to say more of like if you relapse, it's okay. Like it is what it is, you know? Like don't beat yourself up about it because it's not going to make you feel any better, especially on your road to recovery. You want, you want to self harm as less as possible, right? But if it happens, it happens and it is what it is and next time you just try harder not to. But if you do, it's okay. I'm not promoting it and be like, "No, yeah, it's okay. It's not okay." But if you do it, like it's not the end of the world. Be like beat yourself up about it. It's going to make you feel worse than you already do. And and that's no bueno so that's what I was trying to say just clearing that up but let's get right back to it so what is the first step to being confident with self-harm scars I don't know I can't answer that because I am still not confident with them like sometimes I'm like I don't care but many times I like notice people look and I'm like I get upset about it because I just don't like it being there you know all exposed and whatnot eventually I probably will learn to like accept that it is what it is and it's there but just not right now so I can't answer that sorry the next question is any advice for a freshman going on to college okay so college I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh it's easy like it's not it's really not go to class don't miss because if you miss it's missing one day is like missing the entire like a lesson like you just miss so much so just don't miss you need to have like that positive mindset like yes I'm gonna get through the semester I'm gonna get through the year do your homework the professors are not gonna ask you like oh do you maybe some 
but not all of them, are gonna ask you like, oh, do you have the assignment? Like, you either have it or you don't. And they don't add, they don't like, can you turn it in? Can you, like, in high school, it's not like that. Do what you gotta do, have fun. The best part is you get to pick your times. So you can have it at nighttime, in the morning, in the evening, so that'd be lit. Have a fun time, meet new people, enjoy it. The question is, how do you stay so chill? Like, I don't know how you do it, but I love you. I love you too, but I feel like those YouTubers that have so many people and they be like, I love you too, like, I don't know. Okay. How do I stay so chill? I don't know. I just have a chill vibe. I just have a chill personality. So, just live life. That's all I gotta say. Stay high on life. <laughs> so lame. Next question I think it is, how do you cheer yourself up when you're down? Okay, so actually, this is a really good question. Like, I started listening to worship music, weeks, but I've been so into worship music. Like, I have a whole playlist on this channel. Like, if you go to my plate like the playlist when I'm upset I know that's the first thing I need to run to because it helps me so much I, I just I don't even know how to explain it it just helps me but if you're not into worship and God and whatnot I guess you can do what you like to do so what's your hobby what do you love to do so if you like to dance you like to draw cook or hang out with friends or do something that is gonna you know it's gonna bring you up I think hanging out with friends is a good idea because they be. I love my friends. It's just a good time. Question two, are you an INFP? I don't know what that means, so no. <laughs> In, I don't know what that means. And I didn't even feel like asking. But that's it for this Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video because yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Douches.